when I'm designing a website, sometimes I just don't want links to show up. Maybe I want them to be bold, but I don't want that underline that Squarespace gives us natively. So if you were to put a hyperlink in, for instance, it would automatically underline the word. And for the most part, I don't like this, especially in the footer. When we're in the footer, I think it's immediately obvious that most items in there are links. And when you hover over a link, your arrow will immediately change the pointer icon. So what I tend to do is get rid of that underline. And I know a lot, a lot of people I've seen in the forums, on Facebook groups, they want to get rid of that line as well. In fact, I've had dozens, if not hundreds of clients who want to get rid of a link too. So I thought, well, why not share with you exactly how to remove the line? And I'm going to throw in a bonus bit of code that gives a really cool hover effect when the user hovers over the link. So we want to get rid of this underline on our hyperlinks. So you can see, as, as standard, they've just got this underline and there's no hover effect whatsoever. So what we want to do is target A which is a link. Then we want to open our squiggly brackets and hit enter. So now we want to code and basically tell Squarespace, apply this to links. We want to say text decoration, and then that doesn't actually do anything. So we need to put important, and then you can see that it takes off the hyperlink lines here, here and here, and then all of these here. These aren't actually linked up, so it hasn't done anything there. Now, if we want to be a little bit more specific, what we want to do is wrap this code in some more squiggly brackets. And then we want to apply it only, let's say, to H1. You can see these uh, underlines come back. But if I was to go into edit, let's go all the way down, add a block of text. Let's just move this down again. And I just say link. Here, make this H1, and then I add a link in. Just do that for now. You can see it doesn't have the text underline. Let's go all the way down. So you can see it's still a link, but it's not got the underline. Now, if I change that to H2, the line comes back. H3, H4 is the same. Then if I target P, which is all the paragraph text, then the underline stays, but then the paragraph fonts don't have the text decoration. So you can apply this to H1s, H2s, H3s, H4s, and paragraphs. If you want to do that, just hit H1, H2, H3, H4, and P. Now, if you want to be even more specific, what we can do is wrap these again. So, squiggle and squiggle. Then, we want to say, only in the footer. So, let's put footer. And you can see, anything that is within the footer and it's H1, H2, H3, H4, or P has the effect applied to it, but anything outside of the footer doesn't. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I really like to apply this effect to the footer for the most part. Sometimes I'll do it site-wide, but for the most part, I think it works well in the footer because we know everything's going to be a link. Now I want to go one step further and apply a hover effect. So what we're going to do is start off with a transition. This is how long the effect takes, so 0 0.3 seconds. And we'll just give that importance as well, even though I don't think it needs it. Then what we want to do is inside our brackets, we want to put and hover. So this is telling Squarespace when the user hovers, we want this effect to happen. So what I'm going to do is change the opacity of the link to 0 0.7 and then we want to have that transition again. So this is saying transition in for the effect, and this is saying transition back to normal when we're not hovering. So nothing applies here, but then when we go down here, it actually has really subtle, so let me just change it to 0 0.2, and we'll make that important. So there we go, you can see we've got that nice subtle hover effect, and that applies to everything. See, when it's on the white, it looks better, but when it's on the black, it's probably too opaque. So if we go down to 0 0.7, that's probably better down here. Now, if we want to get even more specific, we want to use a Squarespace block identifier. 
and then we can target the section IDs. So let's say this section, which is the top part of the footer, open that up and then we want to say all of our links within here have no text decoration. Let's give it that transition. Then we want this one to be the same as well, to be fair. So we put a comma and then that section ID. So this is the basics. We don't want text decoration. And just to showcase this, I'm going to get rid of this. So if we didn't target this section, for instance, then you can see the line comes back. So we're laying our foundation. Then what we want to do is our top section. We want to say A and hover, squiggle. And then we want to say opacity 0 point, let's say 3. Important. And then we want to use that transition again. Then we'll just copy all of this and then replace that section ID with the lower part of the footer. And then we want this opacity to be about 0 0.7. So hopefully this has all gone right. So you can see we've got the effect that looks better on white and then the effect that looks better on black. So if, if you want to do this for sections around the site, it doesn't just have to be the footer. Whenever you think it makes sense, it looks best, you can play around with this. So you, all you need to remember is essentially A means we're targeting a link. And then if we go all the way back, H1, H2, H3, H4, and P is targeting the different sizes of fonts that Squarespace has. And then you can go one further and target footer. You could target the header and then you can target separate sections as well with the block identifier. Then you'll be golden. This code will be in a blog post linked in the description of the video. So you can check that out as well. But that's the basic gist of it. I know I waffled, but I would rather you had as much knowledge as possible to make the very best Squarespace site that you can. And if you did find this useful, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out all of my other Squarespace resources in the description below.